and they wanted the clock tower and the clock to be the most impressive, a big icon in the centre of London. So this is what, why the, it, the palace is built with the clock tower at one end of it. It had the biggest dials of the day, 24 feet across. They're going to have the biggest bell of the day at 13 and a half tonnes, the biggest clock, and it had to be the most accurate clock. So what they've done, they actually made a clock to plus or minus one second a day. Back in 1850s, 1860s, a good clock was two or three minutes a day. And lots of people said it just couldn't be done. What makes it so accurate is that we have, for the day, a revolutionary escapement. It's called the Double Three-Legged Gravity Escapement. It's a very grand title. And it's fantastic. It isolates the pendulum from all external forces, apart from an impulse just to keep it going. And because you've made it so accurate, it keeps the clock so accurate. But we do have to make adjustments to it. We have to, occasionally, it does wander out of time. And we're only allowed plus or minus one second. So what we do to keep it in time, we add or take off old pre-1972 pennies. We put one penny on and it speeds the clock up by two-fifths of a second in 24 hours. It's wonderful. We get people send them to us, you know, please have my penny, I've had it since 1972. We actually had a group of people came and visited who gave us one of the last mintings that had never been in circulation, a little envelope present, given it to us, and you know, here you go. A little old lady sent us a whole envelope with them all sellotaped to a letter. Lovely. Such a word, it stops very seldom. Um, occasionally, we, we have had a flock of starlings long before I was here, actually landed on the hands, and the, just the increase in weight stopped the clock, because obviously it can't compensate for everything. It has iced up before, um, but usually it's something very simple. There used to be um, a man in the palace who used to change all the light bulbs, and we used to have a light bulb right above the middle of the clock, and one day he stretched across to change the light bulb, fell in stopped the clock and made it strike the wrong time. Um, it was state opener of Parliament, so they had to get somebody up here very quickly before the Queen came in to actually make sure it, was, it struck the right time while she was here. London, it's a, it's a stereotype to me, an icon. It's a symbol of, uh, of the establishment really, isn't it? The Houses of Parliament and things as well. Um, I don't know, it symbolises England for me. It represents Britain. Um, and I feel it's, uh, it's something we ought to play up and um, make sure that we know our identity with the flag and all our landmarks. 